today we're doing surf and turf. Now to me, nothing says kicking back at a beach or in your backyard better than surf and turf. We've made this before, but you know, I thought I would go and look for the best recipe possible. So I went around the world looking for this from Hawaii to Mozambique to Melbourne, Australia, and even Cuba looking for this recipe. And I think I found it. We're doing it today on the only fire Santa Maria grill. We'll show you that here in just a moment. My buddy Scott over at Dr. Taste Good Barbecue has one. And when I saw him I, with it, I said, man, I have got to get one. I've done a couple cooks on this. I've actually done this recipe before on it and it's amazing. Let's start. This recipe is easy to begin with. I'm gonna take approximately two to three tablespoons of butter, put it into the pan, put it onto the only fire Santa Maria style grill, lower it down just like that until the butter is melted. Let's take a quick look at our butter. Looking all melted. I like it. Let's remove it. So we transfer our butter into a bowl. I've got some shrimp in here, fairly large ones. I'm going to take some Creole seasoning, put it over our shrimp. I'm going to take some parsley flakes, dry it of course, over the shrimp. Some Who's Your Mama sauce. I'll have the exact measurements down below. I'm just kind of eyeballing this. Gonna use some onions. Sprinkle a little bit in there. We're gonna take some wine, pour it over. And I'm gonna cut up one lemon. Use half. And squeeze the juice over it. Let's see if I can get it in a trash can. Score. All right, let's mix this up. Perfect. Now we're gonna let this rest for about 15 minutes. The next part of our fun is the steaks. Two New York style steaks. I believe they're also called Porterhouse. Looking good. And we're just going to use salt and pepper for them. Perfect for that side. Give them a flip. Do it again. It's like rinse and repeat. Salt. Pepper. Perfect. Now it's time to have some fun with the Only Fire Santa Maria Grill. We're going to lay our first steak down, then the second. And what I love about this thing is this little handle. It's going to give it one little turn and let these things just start cooking away. All right, these things have been on for about two minutes. Give them a flip. Got some grill marks already on it. Let them cook for a little bit longer. All right, another two minutes down. Let's give them a flip. I'm gonna move these off to the side a little bit because it is time to start putting the shrimp on. Those some big old pieces of shrimp too. I'm going to lower this down one more and just let them cook away. All right, the shrimp have been on for about three minutes. We're going to give our steak a flip. Flip those shrimp. Come on. 
I think it's time to test the temperature of the steak. Yeah, we're sitting at about 87 right now in that one. 85, 86. They're coming along. We got a ways to go. At this point, our steak's sitting at about 100 degrees. So I'm just going to take our residuals that we had from earlier from the shrimp. Kind of just pour it over a little bit. Give it a little extra flavor. So let them sit for a few more minutes. I love this on fire Santa Maria style grill. Would I use it for, you know, like if I had 20, 30 people over? Probably not. But, you know, if you're just hanging out with a couple of friends, four, five, six, whatever, it's perfect. We're going to give the steaks a flip. Man, those are some good looking steaks, too. Give a shrimp flip. All right, there you go. It's been another two minutes. Our steaks are super close. I'm just going to remember our, our lemon from earlier. Squeeze it over. Perfect. Score. Going to remove our shrimp. They look done. A little warm. Woo. That thing kicks off some heat. Damn. Got you a plate full of shrimp right there. Let our steaks finish up. Should be just another minute or two. All right, the steak in the back is done. What do you think? Are their steaks not quite there yet? It's sitting at about 116 degrees. In fact, let's check it out. Uh, 119, 120, that's uh, 21. Front part's done. Give it a few more minutes. All right, this steak is done. Look at that, I love that. Take it off. What do, you, what do you think? Heck yeah. All right, let's eat. So we already have our one steak on there. Let's grab a couple shrimp. You know be good with this is asparagus. But I think it's time to try it. That's really good. That big old shrimp. Mmm. You know, I get just a hint of that wine that we put in there with the lemon. Oh, it's so good. Try another piece of steak. Mm. There's salt and pepper on there. Perfect. All right, guys, the recipe's down below. You saw how we made it. Super simple. It is perfect for just chilling in the backyard. As you can see, we're still under remodel. The dude's kitchen is going through a crazy remodel. You're not even going to be able to recognize it, guys. Seriously. All right, thanks everybody for watching. We will see you next time on the dude's kitchen. Stay safe, everybody. Take care.